Hi, I'm Michael from Intune Music, and it's time for yet another trip down rock and roll memory lane. Yeah! 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 Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Today we're going to take a trip, and I don't have any personal photos, but we're going to go to the Crossroads Guitar Festival. That's right, the Crossroads Guitar Festival. It was held June 24th to June 26th in Dallas, Texas at the Cotton Bowl. It was not only a music festival, but it was a benefit concert to support uh, Eric Clapton's Antigua, uh, basically, rehab center. <laughs> That's what it was about. But probably 50 of the world's greatest guitarists were there that weekend. It was not only in the Cotton Bowl, but it was in a few other buildings around the fairgrounds, like one of the buildings had a guitar show, and another building had literally an art gallery of guitars, because to raise money, they auctioned off guitars from all of the artists that were playing there. Eric Clapton himself had over 117 guitars there. In this area, it was like going to an art gallery because it was filled with security and velvet ropes. And every one of these guitars by Carlos Santana and Jeff Beck and everything were all signed. And they were auctioned off at Sotheby's after the event. Eric Clapton's Black Stratocaster that he used on 11 albums got $975,000 by itself. Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar got a half a million. I'm going to name you some of the artists that were there that day. I need a cheat sheet to do that. Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Dole Bram Hall II, who I met, Clapton's guitar player, J.J. Cale, Robert Cray, Nathan East, Clapton's bass player, who I met, Eric Johnson, B.B. King, John Meyer, Mayer, Carlos Santana, Steve Vai, Jimmy Vaughn, Joe Walsh, ZZ Top, Pat Metheny, Neil Sean, just to name a few. It was quite a happening scene. You could wander all around the Texas fairgrounds, inside and outside of the Cotton Bowl, and see people performing, and a lot of the artists just wandering around the exhibit halls, and a lot of people didn't know who they were. That's how I got to meet them. All right, I've got some souvenirs I'm gonna show you here. Here's one from the Crossroads Guitar Festival. We're gonna be showing that to you. Here's an autographed picture of Pat Metheny. We're gonna be showing that to you. Here is one by Nathan East that signed, and that was Clapton's bass player. Really nice guy. They're all accomplished solo artists themselves. And last but not least, my souvenir t-shirt. This was one of Clapton's uh, guitar, picture of a guitar, and this is the back of the shirt right there. Crossroads Guitar Festival, June 24th to June 26, 2004. It was a great time. It was a piece in rock and roll history that will never happen again. I tell you what, this Saturday on the 18th, this Saturday from 1 to 3, do not forget to come in and see Dean Williams from the NSU Jazz Lab performing here at Intune this Saturday. I'm Michael from Intune Music, and this is another trip down rock and roll memory lane, and you're watching INTV. Yeah!